Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Uranium, I'm from Brian Moonlight. Hello Tim, hello again my friend. Hello Crown Jester, yeah it's been a while since you've showed up to one of these, I'm glad you're here though. Just gotta get a couple more things set up, give me one second. Let's see that this should be all good. I'm doing decently tim just again long day at work it wasn't necessarily bad per se just it's retail so you know retail's retail it sucks no matter if it's slow fast busy day anything in between anywho in the last stream of pokemon uranium another power plant blew up we figured out who was blowing up the power plant we defeated said person called kiri with her Legendary nuclear Pokemon Urain. Hi, Miko. Oh, cool. What are you streaming? And, uh, we ended up back at the range, or we found out that, uh, Theo's father is part of Interpol and was chasing and tracking Kiri for years now, and, and, um, that he discovered that that professor that kidnapped us when Gollum Kid saved us. Ended up um, blowing up the nuclear power plant that I was mom was walking at. And no, Tim, I, I the Lefleurion I'm going to be using post game for something special. You're going to like it. I have plans for Flareon. so don't you worry about that. I I have a lot of pl plans for the after game. Anyways, I've done some summary. Th I think this is going to be the last. Um team swap that we do this is going to be what we're going to be entering victory road with today and doing some other minor things Ooh, the game audio i forgot to turn back up give me one second that's why it seems so low i am smart Whoa, whoa the computer's volume too there we go now i got audio this is great so, um, we're going to be using Hot Terra, Bariat, Nucleon, Barnoid, Jelen, and Achilles as our final team for the championship and everything. I think this is the most diverse team we have. I liked our shiny snail that we got, but, uh, the move pool is just god-awful. And, again, I, I, we did get a, um, Vulchik last stream but that thing's gonna take until level 66 to evolve fully and by that point it's it's just gonna be too late at that point so I decided to keep Hop Terra in. Oh hello hello Zuomi I'm doing decently again I think I was asked this question before I'm doing decently just tired from work you know long day with retail and everything how are you doing my good friend so I did do some move set changes. I added up on Hop Terra, adding Gunk Shot because we had the Move Tutor shards. It's just coverage, really. It was either that, this Rock Slide, or Brip Break. I feel like a Poison type attack will do Hop Terra justice. I did do some IV training too, so it has better stats, and it's pretty fast. So getting off a fast Gunk Shot might help. It has fly now instead of aerial ace. I know it. That shaking 95 accuracy is, you know, basically 50 accuracy in Pokemon, but it's the best flying move it gets other than acrobatics, and I don't like not having an item on this thing. Dig for coverage, and we'll be getting X's on Victory Road, so U turn U turn won't be there for much longer. Hello, lovely kitten. How are you doing today? Welcome, we're playing some Pokemon Uranium, just kind of going over the final team before we enter Victory Road. Um, Bariat has not changed at all. Dig's gonna be replaced with Earthquake once we get that TM at some point. I did do some slight attack EV training on Bariat, but not much. Nucleon has pretty much stayed the same. There's nothing more to really say, it spams Hyper Voice. Um, Barnoid has pretty much stayed the same. I did lower its, what was it, speed IVs with some berries from Kevlar Town 
to actually give it, you know, more HP and more special attack, because it doesn't really need speed. It's me, the person that helped you with the color thing. Oh! Hello, hello, how are you doing? So, um... Yeah, I, I did that with Achilles too. I lowered his defense and special defense IVs to basically nothing because this thing's a glass cannon and it doesn't survive anyways. So. Ah, uh, my bad. I'm better than last time. I was sick and still a bit hot though, but now my left cheek is swollen. Oh, that sucks. Why is your cheek swollen? Is it like a tooth infection or something from being sick? I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better though. And that's good, lovely kitten. I'm glad you're doing good. So I did lower the IVs for Yoshi here just because, again, it's a glass cannon, so I gave it more special attack and some attack IVs. I did end up swapping out Earthquake for Earth Power. I know it's 10 power less than Earthquake, but I wanted a mix of physical and special because that's what Achilles is, is a mix attacker. I gave it Rock Slide and kept Dragon Claw on it because it's special move pool coverage is actually quite bad. But it's Mega's a special attacker. Oh, you're watching some Jurassic Park VHS horror? That's pretty cool, Tim. I haven't seen Jurassic Park in a long time. I remember when that came out, everyone loved the movie. I was one, so I can't really complain too much. So that's what I did. ended up doing with Dexter. Nothing really more to say about that. Just give it more HP and some more special attacks so it can hit a little bit harder. It doesn't really need the speed because it's slow as balls anyways. Um, Zeta Jelen has pretty much, again, stayed the same. I could have added, I, what was it? Uh, I'm trying to think of a special attack. But there was some special attack I could have added to it. But I feel like recover is just going to be a nice little secondary option for recovery so we're not spamming potions all throughout the battle. But yeah, no, Zeta's pretty much stayed the same. And Yoshi, as I've already gone over, I've lowered its um, EVs and just its move switching around. I think Rock Slide's going to help it a lot more than Flame Impact. Because we have Flamethrower anyways, and we're going to be going for that 95% of the time anyways. Not sure why it's just a random happening. I'm so rest. I'm so I'm resting. Well, that's good. You make sure you rest up. Um... It's gonna sound dumb, but mint can help with, like, swollen gums and stuff. If you have any, like, mint tea, you can sip it. That and honey usually helps with swollen cheeks and stuff. Peppermint can also help for some odd reason. I, I don't know why peppermint ha helps as an anti-inflammatory, but it does. So, you, you, you can try peppermint, too. And the tea will also help just any sickness that you have. So we're back in the Ranger HQ in Bale Beach. Uh, oh, look, my dad's finally up and not dead. That's great. Glad to see you. Please come with me. Oh, no. Did Cameron die? Yeah, so, um, try that. See if that helps with the swelling. And, uh, let's see. You can oscillate between an ice pack and heat. That also helps, too. Do like an ice pack for a half hour, put like a warm washcloth on it for like another like 15-20 minutes, oscillate back full. You can also, it's going to be uncomfortable, but stick the warm washcloth in your mouth, kind of bite down on it a little bit. That can help too. Let's see, when you are on your way here, Cameron woke up from his coma. I've already debriefed him about how you faced Kiri in the battle and won. We barely scraped by with that because Kiri was kind of sweeping us. That is true, Tim. This is very true. To think that someone else overcame Kira's power when even I could, I am truly speechless. You have done incredible things. Let's see, you fulfilled my mission. You protected all the Tando and my sea. I woke up fearing the wolves, but instead of recover, received wonderful news. Well, you know, Cameron, you're kind of the one that faked your own death and tracked Kiri down. So without you, we would not be, you know, I think alive because that power plant would have absolutely decimated us. At least I'm not a Vaporeon. This, see, the thing is, I like Vaporeon. I hate what the internet did to Vaporeon. And that's all I'm going to say. Unfortunately, we did not manage to complete all of the mission. Kiri still managed to escape our grasp, but we're performing a total region sweep. 
They can't evade us for long. No, no, I, I would assume not, Cameron. Yeah, this is true, we can't completely rest until Kiri is brought to justice. Yeah, we knocked the rain down to its baby form, so it shouldn't really bug us anymore. It's not highly- Oh, so I can't command nuclear Pokemon in its beta form. Only in its beta form, not alpha form. That's pretty cool. It will remain in that weakened form indefinitely. Oh yeah, without the radiation, that's true. Well, see, at least it can't bring fallout anymore. trans we will get more uranium fuel, right? Not if we can help it, for safety's sake, all nuclear rods have been removed from the region. We're looking to implement alternative energy source in the place if Kiri wants to get their hands on more fuel, they're going to have to leave Tandor or we'll catch them before that happens. See? So why didn't you guys pick an alternative fuel source to begin with instead of putting power plants all over the region? Get back in touch with Interpol. They haven't heard from me in over 10 years, so it would be somewhat of a surprise for them. But once they have the dangerous criminal on the loose, I'm sure they'll be willing to provide aid. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you can get a hold of Interpol still, and I'm glad you're still breathing, Cameron. If I told you, Theo, I wouldn't have been very secret anymore, although technically I am retired officially. I guess I can consider my actual retirement as beginning today. Aw. That, that, that's a sweet reunion between those two. And that's, this just wraps Theo's character development full circle and I'm happy. We should go, yeah, yeah, we'll leave Theo and his dad alone for a while. What Theo went through at the power plant, it cost him a lot. It will take time for him to fully return to his old self. I think he will with Cam. Yeah, that was kind of traumatizing for the poor kid. Let's see, he's never been good at sentimental stuff. I'm proud of you. And Oh, well, thank you. Suppose your path is up to you, isn't it? You have all the Tando to explore, but I think you know what to do. Yep, we get to go to the championship, but we're not going to head to Victory Road straight away. Yeah, no, Victory Road shouldn't be a problem. Haven't paid the R&D lab downstairs. If I I think you... Oh? And they're playing the bike theme for some reason now. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Well, let's go downstairs then. Hello, Bambo, what's up, buddy? Take a look at Tan Scare. With the help of Hazma, we've managed to absorb the dangerous radiation from its cells, its, person its personality is back to normal, and it's not hostile. Oh! But it's still radioactive, though. This new Pokemon, Hazma, has been indisposable in our case. Such a creature could exist. It speaks to the infinite po potential Pokemon. It feeds on radiation, will absorb all contaminants from the area until it's completely clean. This is a discovery of a lifetime. Oh, wow. Ugh, you have school tomorrow? Gross. I'm so glad I'm done with school, to be quite honest. It's been over a decade since I've been out of school, and it's probably one of the best things I ever did. Not to say that school, you know, isn't important. School is definitely important. But, uh, I, I don't know. I learned more from YouTube, frankly, and other people than I ever did in a classroom. But that's just me, personally. Uh, yeah, Bambo. It would be kind of embarrassing if we didn't win at this point. Yeah, luckily I do not have to walk tomorrow though, so lovely kitten. Think about it this way. You could have to go to walk for like eight hours a day instead of school. At least school somewhat is somewhat tolerable. Alright, with that long exposition out of the way, we are not going to be digging. Now that we've beat Carrie, we can return back to Rivervale Town, and we can go to the Nature Preserve. Oh, too dangerous still? Is it too dangerous? Yeah, no, see, I'm all for school. To a degree. But at the same time, you can 100% take a skill you want to learn and learn it yourself at the same time. Yeah, okay, this is post-game then. That, that sucks. Anyways, let's see what the um, HM Tinkerer is up to. Can we got... 
We can now dive without needing that stuff. Without the HM. Oh, nope, he's still busy. Okay. But yeah, no. I wouldn't recommend doing... I ended up dropping out of school. I wouldn't recommend doing that at all. And I'm not advocating for you to do the same. You stay in school. You finish school. Because you're, you're going to need it nowadays. I've gotten lucky with my jobs that I haven't needed a high school diploma. I can't say the same for everyone else. That they will get lucky just the same. So, stay in school. Do good. If you don't want to go to college straight away... That's a choice you can make. You don't... I don't think you really need college if you're not seeking, like, a field that specifically needs it, like a doctor, a lawyer, um, a police officer, stuff that you need college for. But if you just want to do, like, you want to go into a trade or something, that's a good thing to, you know, you know, think about and debate with yourself as you go through school. And good. Stay in school. Hold up, trainer. Yep. We have all eight badges. Normal, bright, surf, pixel, salsa, drama, apex, and zen. Thank you very much. And we have made it to Victory Road. It's taken us ten parts to do. I can't believe how quickly we've come here. Now... A thing to know is if you are below, like, I'm a little bit lower leveled, but if you are, like, below level 60, when you hit the championship, go back and grind in Tuscanami Village on the ninjas, because you are going to be too under level to do the championship. Just fair warning. Y you can find some interesting Pokemon. Oh, you beat Sonic the Hedgehog too, Tim? That's pretty cool. Hey, Jin the Gamer, what's up? How are you doing, buddy? We're gonna come over here and find TM37 Sandstorm. That's useless to us. A forest soul is nice. But yeah, no, Victory Road in this game, one, is long. Two, has a lot of winding corridors. Ooh, we find TM73 Thunder Wave. That's pretty nice. We're gonna be finding a lot of TMs, and we're gonna be encountering a lot of interesting Pokemon. Oh, and we pop out on Route 9. That's where that ledge leads to. I completely forgot where that led to. Yeah, no, Victory Road in this game is winding. It's confusing. It's quite a pain to get through, honestly. Yeah, no, t Sandstorm is good on Tyranitar because it can summon it without the move. The TM in itself, like, Sunny Day, Rain Dance... Stuff like that. The decent moves, but the weathering conditions to summon them are better than the actual moves themselves. Sheepit! This thing is a pseudo legendary ground type Pokemon of this game, and this thing is an absolute monster when it's fully evolved. The thing's disgustingly powerful, and I'm quite sad that I'm not going to end up using it. Oh, we killed it. Good job, Hop Terra. But no, that that thing is another pseudo legendary. I think we have three pseudo legendaries in Victory Road. One evolves at like level 75, which puts High Dragon's 64 restriction of leveling like to the extreme. No, Game Freak is not trying anymore with Pokemon. I 100% agree with that. Nope. Game Freak has not been trying with Pokemon for a, a, a long time now, I would say. Ooh, Gunk Shot's finally going to get some use in its first battle. And we get a crit too, thanks to the Sculpt Lens. Nice. I did forget to mention that, I did pick up the Sculpt Lens from Tuscanami Village. Because I, I knew it would come in handy on Hop Terra, because Hop Terra is extremely fast. But yeah, no, Sheepit's abilities are Moxie and Intimidate, two very, very, very good abilities. Po I liked my time with Pokemon Shield. For the first, mm, 
like third of Pokemon Shield, I liked it. But by like mid game, it's like this. This is lame. I don't like this. And like, I rushed through the DLC to complete my living decks to get Calyrex and everything, the Galarian birds. Cause it's just, I I was not having fun with the game. Ooh, Frothra. This is what that bug back up. Uh, back up. I forget what snow route it is. This is what it evolves into. This thing's pretty cool. It's kind of weak. It's a strong special attacker, but at the same time, it's really weak defensively. And its move pools, like, non existent. Pokemon Scarlet is a buggy. is a bug Pokemon party. Brop. Yeah. Play what? The reference to Godzilla. Yeah, no, see. Frostra is such a cool Pokemon. And again, this was another thing I was questioning on if I wanted to use it or not. The thing is, the move pool of this thing consists of bug and ice moves. It has like, I think, air cutter for coverage. And it gets like sticky web. But the the bug is super cool. But really, really just if it doesn't knock you out, it you're going to get knocked out yourself. Can I not surf here? Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I think it's more of a reference to Mothra than anything else. Oh, hello, Gyarados. Is there a new type? In this game, nuclear type is the only new type in the game. And Frothra does not have it. That's a bug ice type. Ooh, Trakten! This is what you can get. You can find it here, or you can find it at the um, game corner for, well, over 9,000 coins. So, I mean, again, I kind of like the design, kind of don't like the design. It's it, it, it's a weird Pokemon. This, this thing's a weird Pokemon. I, I, I don't mind it, but it's not there. Two, three. Oh, tracking! Come on. In Korea, there's no game corner. Yeah, cause isn't gambling Ill illegal in Korea? Isn't that why? Cause they couldn't implement it because of that. Um, I think no. Yeah, no. There's gambling laws in J no. There's no gambling laws in Japan. What am I talking about? Cause they're the one that created the game corner. So that's because of the Korean laws, right? Because gambling's illegal in children's games or something. I think I read it once. Was the reason why. I think. Max Ether, Not bad. Yeah, under 18 gambling illegal. See, that's what I thought. Hello, Primate. That, that's what I thought, but I wasn't positive. Well, bye, Primate. <laughs> Hop Terra, come on! Why do you have to kill everything you fight? Oh, and Victory Road's music's cut out. Great. But in different countries. Yeah, I have no clue what the, like, again, because I'm in the U.S., so I don't know other countries' like, laws. I know, like, Japan, its laws are pretty lax when it comes to what you can put inside of a video game. Especially aimed at children. Obviously, you know, Pokemon is a prime example of that. Because most Pokemon plots have terrorist organizations in it. And like Team Plasma and, you know, Black and White 2 are basically straight up terrorists that freeze a city almost to death. Come on, Primeape. We are not doing this today. I do not have the resources to be dealing with your BS. Get in the ball. I am low on funds. Well, almost to that hundred Pokédex that we need for the Professor. 
Ooh, TM99 Endeavor is pretty nice. My PlayStation is woken again. It broke nine months ago. Why'd it break? What was wrong with your PlayStation? If I might ask. I, I, I'm assuming a hard drive failure. Because that's most common with them nowadays. Yeah, yeah, do your Intimidate Gyarados. And we find, finally, this is where you find the TM for Exorcer. So if you're using Hop Terra and you've had to rely on U-Turn the entire time, that is no longer the case. Thank God. It's a PS4. So it was a hard drive or it wasn't a hard drive. Because, like, I had a PS4 and everyone complained about the PS4, like, hard drive failures and stuff. I never had one personally myself, and I swapped my hard drive out, like, three times in that thing. So. I don't know what people were doing to their PlayStation 4s and with the hard drives and stuff, but. Intel hand is a A tier for sure. Yeah, story-wise. I mean, I have no clue what you're talking about, but I'm going to take your word on it, Tim. Ooh, Blubberog! Like I said, this thing is cool. I don't personally like how it looks. They had a good thing going with its evolution line, and they ruined it. I might use one one day. But we caught it, so that's all that counts. Blue Belly Pokemon. I wonder what that brings us up to now. Da -da -da -da. Where is the Pokedex? Pokepod, Pokedex. Oh, we got 90. We only need 10 more entries and we can get that gift from the professor. Oh, Glass Lug. Kind of like to be picking you up, though. Intimidate, I think, the lower attack. Oh, Intimidate. Yeah, no. Intimidate is such a broken ability. And so many, like, super powerful Pokemon in this game has it. What's your favorite Sonic character? Um, I'm not 100% sure because I don't play Sonic games, Tim. So I guess I wouldn't really have a favorite character. I, I've never in my life played a Sonic game because it's just platformers and not my, really my thing. I think Metroid is the closest thing to a platform where you can get me to actually play. Like, it, the, the Sonic games just never appealed to me for whatever reason. I have no clue why. It's... I don't know. I can't, I can't really think of a reason why. Oops, I forgot you were a dark type. I keep thinking you're a poison type, I'm sorry. But yeah, no, Jin, Intimidate's broken as all hell. You should play Sonic games again maybe one day maybe i'll do it for the channel one day try one out because i can tell you this i'm going to be completely ass at the game probably because i'm not good at platformers at all this is the simple fact that i can even play metroid halfway decently as i do is a understatement for me I play Pokemon, sold Pokemon, BD, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Home. Hello, lovely kitten, welcome back. And I used to play Pokemon Go. I played it a lot from 2018 and onward. And then they did what they did with the uh, remote raid passes and all the other changes that they've made to Pokemon Go, and I've dropped the game like almost entirely. I've slowly started to transfer my like 700 shinies I have in there out. I like want at least one or two of each. I, I don't like greedy business practices that Niam Tech. I don't like what they've done with the game. They, they had something so good that they were doing when the pandemic hit for players that don't, you know, live in California. And, and that that's the problem. They think everyone lives in a big place like California or New York. And for Pokemon Go, that, that's great for those players. For someone like me, I live out in the middle of the sticks. I don't want to drive 45 minutes to go play Pokemon. 
or to get a new Pokemon when I can get that on my Switch, my laptop, transfer it to home that way. You know? I get enough exercise as it is now anyways, because I'm always active in the summer. So that goal doesn't incentivize me to do that. I'm moving my Pokemon to Pokemon Hall and to Pokemon BD for Pokemon Soul. Well, that's pretty cool. I am slowly moving my Pokemon from older games up. Wow, Jabota, you are fast. My lord, I didn't think you were that fast. But yeah, no, Jin, I'm slowly doing that as well. I mean, eventually, I'll have everything here. I have a level 1 Charizard because of that. That's cool. I think I have like a level 3 Charizard. I have a lot of interesting stuff in Go. That I've... You are part ground type. And you have guillotine. That's great. I forgot about that. But yeah, no, I have a lot of interesting-ish mons that I brought up from Go. Like, I have an under level 55 Tyranitar because I transferred it at the level from Go. Which is funny, so I'm never gonna evolve her. And she's shiny, so she's a shiny, underleveled Tyranitar. When Charizard evolved. Uh, it evolves from Charmeleon at 36. So it goes Charmander to Charmeleon at 16, Charmeleon to Charizard at 36. So having a level 3 Charizard, level 1 Charizard is quite, um... Quite the rarest thing to have indeed, considering Charizard's rare enough in Go to begin with. Ooh, we don't have a lot of Hypo Potions. I forgot about that. I had to sell a bunch to get some things. Ooh, Carrot Wine. That'll come in handy. Can you survive my onslaught at 50,000 volts? Possibly. No, the question is, can I outspeed this Jolteon before it kills me? Yes. Okay. Hop Terror is faster than a Jolteon. That's good to know, because that thing had thunder. Please one shot, we're dead. Nope. We're dead. Good job, Hot Terror. You had one job, buddy. You had one job, and you messed it up. I have max money in Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Having max money is nice. I wish I had max money in this game. I would solve my healing problems. Hello, I'm Frost. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna... Just gonna do a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. Bye, I'm Frost. Really? God damn, Amphros, I knew you were bulky. I didn't think you were that bulky. Either that or Yoshi just has terrible stats. I'm gonna lean towards the ladder that we did not get good IVs on this thing. Because we're not even breaking 200 special attack. 198 isn't bad in this mega form, though. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're playing some Pokemon Uranium. We're in Victory Road currently. Neopunk! Okay, I forgot about this. This thing's a legendary. He just randomly has a legendary for no reason. The thing's extremely fast and strong. I have no clue why he has legendary. He's a random scientist. I'm playing Sonic the Hedgehog free. Add Knuckle and... I don't even know how to pronounce that last word, but that's cool, Tim. I haven't got to try to pronounce that last word and butcher it further. Good, come over here, got a full heal. Forget. Is there anything we can do over here right now? No, because you need waterfall. Why specialize in one type? I'd rather use them all. Oh, specializing in one type's never a good idea. I moved my Pokemon. BD Pokemon to sword and then grinded them, got a bunch of IVs, then moved them back 
to beat Cynthia. Cynthia is super, super difficult in BDSP. I was I was reading and not paying attention. That's cool. Sorry, Hop Terra. Yeah, no, because Cynthia has almost maxed out IVs. They have she all of Pokemon has 30 IVs across the board, and they have maxed out EVs and competitive items and natures and abilities. Like, they made something like Cynthia, someone like Cynthia, 30 times harder than they had to, because she was already difficult. Her team already had almost perfect coverage. They just amplified that. Hello, Inflagita. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna one-shot us! Cool! Cool, cool. Oh, yeah, because I think in, um... I think in Di the original Diamond and Pearl, she had, I think, 30 EVs across the board, but did her I No, her IVs were 30 across the board. Her EVs were not maxed out, though. But in BDSP, her IVs are 30, and her EVs are completely maxed out for competitive use. They're all competitively viable movesets and abilities and stats. Which just makes it so much harder. We might need to do a uh, run to the Poke Center really quick. We don't have the items for this. We made some money though, so we're gonna fly back to Legion Town just really quick. Oh, you have two Chaos Emeralds? That's cool. I beat Leon in one po- I swept Leon with my Inteleon. It was quite a pitiful fight for a champion. If I'm being quite honest. Leon was, um... Leon was a disappointment for a champion. Melmetal's broken. Melmetal is so broken, it's disgusting, to be quite honest. Like... And the funny thing is, technically, Mel Meadow's a Gen 7 Pokemon, but you can only use it in Gen 8 and Let's Go. In Gen 9. I think Mel Meadow's in Gen 9. With Hyper Beam. That's pretty cool. Just needs six more Chaos Emeralds. You'll get them, Tim. Yeah, and Sin Watt is quite common, and this Electro type is just straight up garbage. Physical Electro types are never good. Ooh, a Pajay! I didn't know you can find them here. Especially the unbeatable champion. Yeah. Like, Leon was supposed to be, you know, this super strong, tough trainer that never got beat. And the fact that you can sweep him is just there. Hyper Beam is a broken move. No, uh, no, you, you think Hyper Beam's broken now, Jin? You should have seen Gen 1 Hyper Beam, because how Gen 1 Hyper Beam worked, if you got a KO in Gen 1 with Hyper Beam, you did not have to sit there and recharge for a turn like you do now. So you could spam Hyper Beam with little to no risk. Oh, you did know that. Okay. Making sure, because some people didn't know that Hyper Beam's this was disgusting in Gen 1. Hyper Beam Tolos so Snorlax was just straight up disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Back alive without yawning. But yeah, no, there, there was a lot of Gen 1 moves that were broken, like, uh, knowing the simple fact that Amnesia counted for special attack and defense, so you got a plus two in both in one move. With a sleep, sleep attack, I, yeah. Sleep in Gen 1 was also very broken, because it ate up your entire turn. Nice, Hoptera, it's almost level 60. Caught up very nicely. We should be able to one-shot this Tracton. I would assume. Ouch. 
Oh, you got a speed boost. But that doesn't matter because you now outspeed us underground. Yes, we do one shot. Cool. Yeah, no, there, there was a lot of odd mechanical choices in Gen 1 by Hot Terra. Sleep, then you sleep attack, and then you sleep by random, then you don't die. Yeah. Oh, you put your opponent to sleep, and then you wrap them to death in Gen 1. That was another, also another, uh, devilish thing you could do. Oh, acid armor, that's interesting. Hey. Hold this poison jab. But, yeah, no, I am glad that they fixed a lot of the mechanics from Gen 1 to Gen 2. I know it made a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon not as broken as they used to be. But I'm happy for it because Gen 1 competitive battling is a buggy, it's just disgusting mess. And you're going to use the same, like, six Pokemon. Well, I didn't like that they did in Gen 2 was made Stolax basically indestructible. The fact that Snowlax is required to even stand a chance competitively in Gen 2 is disgusting. And don't get me wrong, I like Snowlax. I like how bulky it is. I do not like taking 45 minutes for it to, uh, die. Uh, let's see, go with Nuclear. Yeah, no, I don't like what they've done with Meganium. That's gonna one-shot us. No, that does not one-shot us. Nucleon, you monster. Yeah, no, I don't like what they've done with Meganium. Like, okay. You wanted to make a bulky grass type and make it weak to everything in the game? Cool. Why did you also, at the same time, have to give it a crappy hidden ability? Is my question. Like, what does Leaf God do to help Meganium? Ooh, it can't protect it can protect you against status conditions in the sun. Cool. Uh, you do realize that Meganium by setting up sunny days also are powering up the one type that it's weak to, right? Like, do they realize that? Like, Typhlosion gets a Hisuian form, for alligator gets sheer force and dragon dance, which is just broken. Meganium gets Petal Blizzard. Gets I, I don't know. Ancient power, I guess. Like they 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 did Meganium dirty and it's sad because Meganium's one of my favorites. My favorite slaughter in Gen 2. And Meganium evolved, it would be Mega Meganium. Yes! I want Mega Meganium to happen. That needs to happen. I want a Mega Meganium so bad, and it needs to- Hello! So, um, yeah, that Neopunk that we fought outside, uh, this is also a Neopunk. It's two variety of Neopunks. It's a interesting Pokemon, because this thing's technically legendary while being common enough to be held by trainers. It's kind of funny how that works in this game. Yeah, no, Mega Meganium needs to happen in Pokemon ZA, and it needs to get the fairy typing, and it needs to get better moves. I am indifferent to Zygarde. I don't hate it, I don't particularly love it. It's just kind of, as a legendary, it's just kind of there for me. It was kind of shoehorned in Sun and Moon, and past that, like, X and Y, it had one cave appearance at the post game, and it didn't do much past that. It was a lot cooler in the anime. Although, I do like the minty Colgate toothpaste shiny that it has. It is one of my favorite shinies to come out of Gen 6. Nice, Tim! Only three more Chaos Emeralds to go. Ooh, Tim 23 Iron Tail! Be right back, I gotta turn that heat down. Okay. 
There we go. I had the heat on for a little bit because it, it's been raining and it's just been cold outside, but it got way too hot in this house. I don't understand, Jen. What is cream? Is so cool. I creamy, creamy. I have no clue what that is. Unless I'm just not pronouncing it correctly, which is probably the case. Oh, intimidate! Cool, Toll Frank. We can um probably capture you now. You fail to swallow a thing. That's quite gross. You are a disgusting Pokemon. Hey, Moonlight, I have to go now. I have school tomorrow. Okay, lovely kitten. Thank you for popping into the stream, though. You can um finish watching the rest of the stream. It will be archived once I'm done with it. Make sure you get rest for school. Make sure you do good in school. And if you haven't yet, you can join the Discord cold server. I, I pop in and out and chat from time to time if you ever feel like chatting. It's raining here too, and yeah, it's it's been raining here for the last week now. Oh no problem. Have a good night. Yeah, no, Jen. It's been raining here for the, like the last almost week now. Tofarang, come on. Come on, buddy, get in the ball. See you later. Two, three, cool. Yeah, this, this, this cave, this, I do not like Tolferang. It is such an ugly Pokemon, even for ROM hacking standards. Like, good God, they butchered the Zubat clone of this game. Yeah, you're not gonna find many unique Pokemon on Victory Road, sadly. You sure look cute, not to mention strong. How about a... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, lady. Uh, flirting will not get you anywhere with me. Thank you very much. Eat this gunk shot, please. It's pretty cool you have a Sylveon, though. That somehow lived a gunk shot. See, Tim, that's what I'm saying. At least I don't have school, too. I am so glad to be done with that. I hated school. I hated every minute of it. Which is sad, because I love learning. I like learning new things. I like knowing things. I hated the way the school was teaching me things. I learned more on YouTube after I dropped out at 16 than I ever did in the 16 years I was in school. Cause I, my mom put me in school at the age of like two. So, ooh, that's gonna kill us. Cool. I didn't know you could learn Final Gambit. I use Snorlax, then use Rest, and you, <laughs> you sleep talk and use. Yeah, no. Gen two Rest sleep talk mechanics are broken as hell, and I hate it. I that no nope. PTSD flashbacks. But yeah, no, I learned so much out of school than I ever did in school. And I have yet to utilize anything they taught me in school. I have not used anything that I was taught in school in my everyday life. Because they didn't teach me basic mathematics good. I ended up having to learn how to do that myself. I was always a history and science buff anyway. So I was always experimenting and figuring that stuff out on my free time to begin with. Uh, reading and writing comprehension. I should be at like a 12th grade level. I'm like at a 9th grade level. So they didn't really do much there either. And let's see what other subjects. Um, PE, I was a gym rat as a teenager anyway, so that doesn't matter either. Because I, I, I'm healthy for the most part. I probably shouldn't drink as many energy drinks as I do, but, you know, that's that's how it is. I mean, people drink coffee or they drink energy drinks. Caffeine is just 
kind of keeps us going. I KO'd three Mythicals with that. Yeah, no, I, I've seen Snorlax, like, kill entire teams of Legendaries in Gen 2. It's disgusting. Yeah, and for us, no, no, thank you. Good day. So that that's just what I went through in school. Don't take my bad experiences as a reason to not like school. Like, that that's just my experiences. And I grew up in a poor-ish city with really bad school district, you know, budgets. So that didn't help either. And growing up in the middle of the ghetto, too, probably didn't help with the school either. So. Suffice to say, I, yeah, no, I'm quite glad to be out of school. And I, I, I don't, like, most people are like, well, if you had a chance, would you go back and, you know, go back to school? Like, no, thank you. No, I'm good. I skipped out on college. I skipped out on all that debt. I am quite happy with it. The difference between the Elite Four and the Champion is too bad in BDS. Yeah, no. Because the Elite Four, I blew through the Elite Four pretty easily with the... Because I used the same team that I used back in um my first ever time playing Diamond and Pearl. And blew through the Elite Four pretty easily. And got to Cynthia. And got my butt completely handed to me. Like, she swept my team in... Bruh. Two minutes? If that. Like, I was like, uh, okay. So I leveled up a little bit more. Went back, tried it again. Same thing happened. I, I ended up having to EV train my Pokemon. To do that. To be able to beat her. I had to EV train in a Pokemon game. Before post-game. Ooh, Zeta's dead. Cool. We have no revives left. La Sevra. Oh, however the hell you pronounce it. That's what that sheep bed evolves into. That's a cool ass pseudo legendary right there. Look at that thing. It's a rabbit with like three tails. It's crazy. I got the god champ with a full team and she KO'd my Yeah, no. I had a god champ as well and she KO'd my entire team. Find him floor. But yeah, no, that 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 pseudo legendary. That 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 thing is so cool. I had my team perfectly set up for uranium and I seen she bit I'm like, oh what does this thing evolve into? So I you know I raised it up a bit, evolved it, I'm like, holy crap, this thing's cool looking. I ended up keeping it. It did me so well with Intimidate. I, I wish you got it earlier in the game. I know it's a pseudo legendary and it would have taken a while to evolve, but I wish you got it earlier in the game. Oh yeah, Gen 4 Godchamp is so broken. Cause nothing just stopped you from spamming outrage. Fairy type, at least in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, didn't exist, so you could just spam dragon moves and nothing else other than Steel resisted it. It was busted, it was all hell. And its move pool and stats for the time was just great. It's unfortunately fallen from grace and it's not as strong as it used to be, but that's just power creep in general. Like, power, power, power creep in Pokemon now is just. It's bad. I I would have to say it's really bad. Mmm. Can we stop running into the terror lords? And you have arena trap. Cool. Good day. Cool. So basically, what you want to you're gonna want to do is like be level sixty. You don't want to be like 62, 64 when you hit the Elite Four in this game. Something like that. You gotta want to be something like around that level. It'll make your life so much easier. 
Ooh, 71 stone heads. Yes, please. It's highly inaccurate. It's much better than Rock Slide, though. Where's Stone Edge? I thought you picked up Stone Edge here. There it is. This thing's gonna power Yoshi up pretty good. Goodbye, Rock Slide. Oh, I'm so happy we found that. Stone Edge is gonna be so much more useful. I have a level 74 Dialga. Cool! I'm more of a Palkia fan than a Dialga fan, but to each their own. Like, that's just my... That's just what I prefer. Ooh, we find an instance where Nucleon can't nuke something. Because again, Pierce Steel type, this thing actually resists nuclear moves. I wish Gawal would have kind of kept the rock typing, because it was a lot cooler with Rock Head and Head Smash. But, you know, being a Pierce Steel type and losing a type is pretty cool. Rock Steel was never a good type to begin with. Look at Ag Aggron's a prime example of that. You can't bring down Bar yet. That is not gonna help you. That is not gonna help, buddy. Good day. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. We're going through Victory Ro Road, currently in Pokemon Uranium. Just having some nice chat about how Cynthia's busted in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and BDSP. Pokemon Z is so cool because I know it is. I, I like what they showed us with Pokemon ZA so far. I wish we had. Oh, that that actually could be very bad. I I didn't think about this. Yep, no, Boreat's down. Awesome. And Barilla completely annihilated us. Awesome. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you want to be perfectly leveled when you come in here. Oh, I'm so glad that quick attack finished it off. Oh man, that couldn't have turned ugly quick. Lumio City was the best city in Pokemon history, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I like the atmosphere of X and Y just in general. Like, the atmosphere of the game was just unmatched, to be quite binding bad. It's completely useless, but, well, we got out of Victory Road. That's all that counts, because we got to go heal again. We can't move two steps in here, can we? Yeah, no, France is such a cool, like, real-life location to visit. And the fact that they built a region off of it, and it was just, like, it's a re Gen 6 was the gen that introduced character customization. We got Megas, we got the fairy type. You know, we got online competitive battling the world championship happened which was amazing with that Pachirisu clutch in 2013 like X and Y made me a competitive battler and that's when I got heavy into competitive battling and that in itself brought me a lot of joy in otherwise troubled time in my life, because what was I? I was, what, 16, 17 when X and Y came out? And, and, and I never had an easy life, per se, but it didn't exactly get easier as I grew up. And by like 16, 17, I was walking. I was, you know, not in school anymore. So, like, it was... It was a hard time in my life, and I could come home, lock myself in my room, play X and Y. It 
felt just a comfort game, if I can think of anything else to say about X and Y. It's a comfort game for me. Not to mention the music's just amazing in it. Oh yeah, no, I, uh, it 100% broke the internet. Like, I remember checking in on when I used Twitter back in the day. And I was really heavy with YouTubers. I would be checking daily, like, any new X and Y leaks, any new X and Y updates. I was huge onto the leaks and the updates and, you know, the fan speculation. I was engaging with the community a lot with, well, what did I think was going to happen? Are we going to get more evolutions? What is this new type that they keep talking about? What could that pink Sylveon thing's type be? Because at the time, I don't think Fairy Type was announced when Sylveon was announced. Oh, I think one of the leaks where we were getting two Eeveelutions, one was going to be a new type and one was going to be Dragon or Poison. And we're like, well, Eeveelutions are usually opposites of each other, so... We have an Ice-type Eeveelution, so what would counter Dragon? You know, other than Ice. And like, Poison, we're like, so we're going to get a Ground one to counter it then? Or we're going to get... Cause we had a psychic one already. Oh, Sylveon is OP. Like there, there, there's no, no um, denying that Pixelite at Hyper Voices, much like what Nuclean's been doing with Atomize, it's just broken. It's such a broken ability to give to special attackers. I'm glad for it. I, I like the fact that we got abilities like that. I kind of wish Sylveon was a little bit faster because it would have helped. Yeah, and Moonblast was cool. Like, I just like Moonblast. I, I like the attack. The name sounds cool. You're attacking it with a beam from the moon. Like, that's meta. Metal as hell. And you have Arena Trap. Cool. But yeah, no, X and Y holds a very, very special place in my heart, and it always will. Ooh, Rocky Helmet. It's fun. The only thing I wish that, you know, they would have did back in the day was actually give us a Z. A Pokemon Z would have been nice. I know we're getting ZA now to kind of be that, you know, third game, but I kind of wish we had that back in the day. Yeah, nope, he made the thumbnail. Yeah, no, he, um, I commissioned a couple things from him. Yep, nope, he made the thumbnail for this, and he made the thumbnail for my Minecraft stuff. And again, very fair prices with him. He does all commissions too, so... And we find TM26 Earthquake. About time. But yeah, no, he, he does an excellent job with his art. And he's super quick about it. And he gives updates routinely, which I like. And his price point is very fair. I, th I think he kind of undercharges what he does. Nice, Tim. So, yes, no, he did that by Minecraft thumbnail, and he did one other thumbnail for me, but we won't discuss that other thumbnail for now. How did you dodge an earthquake? <laughs> I have been waiting to find earthquake. I'm so mad how late in this game we get it. Because earthquake on Bariat would have saved us in a lot of situations. longer such a cool Pokemon I love this thing it's a bust it eight minutes eight minutes left for what Jim if I may ask Ugh, that almost killed us welcome to the stream we almost lost Nucleon we're playing Pokemon Uranium and Victory Road right now just having some chats about Pokemon. Gonna have a chill stream today. 
Oh, until you go to school. Ew. Make sure you do good in school, though. I remember, Jane, you can always come back. You can always come back later on and watch the remaining stream, and I highly encourage it. So you don't miss out, because we're going to be entering the championship soon enough. Ooh, a Hypo Potion. Very nice. Uh, nothing over there. Fire is my element. I mean, darkness would be my element. Devimp! This thing! This thing is cool. This thing evolves at level 75 into its final form. Like, that thing's cool, and that's what it evolves into. But that again, this thing doesn't evolve until level 75. Can I be in the championship? Is this based off of Pokemon Emerald? Uranium? No, it's a fan game made in RPG Maker. And Tim, I got something. I got something planned for Tim the Flareon, don't you worry about that. We got this team for the championship, but I got something planned for you, don't you worry. Ooh, Nucleon, good job hanging on. But no, yeah, no, this isn't based off of Emerald, Jin. This is an RPG Maker game, so it's made completely by scratch. Or at least in the RPG engine. But I still think that's still scratch. I could be wrong, though. But it's not a ROM hack. People get confused. A ROM hack is taking, like, Pokemon Emerald and modifying it. A fan game is what we're playing here. Where you need a laptop, usually, to run it. Because it doesn't run off of a ROM. I'm trying out a new lineup of Pokemon. Ooh. Well, let's see your new lineup. Yeah. Again, we have Neopunk, and then we have this thing. My worst Pokemon game so far is Ultra Sun. I didn't mind Ultra Sun and Moon. I did exactly like Ultra Sun and Moon. They shouldn't make a mobile pull. No, they should not. This game has trouble running consistently as it does now. I can't imagine the performance it would get otherwise. I know people got this thing running on the Steam Deck, though, which is pretty cool. So you technically do have this game on the go, in a way. And I've seen people on, like, those um, emulation machines that can emulate, like, N64 games and stuff, like the Pocket game system things, I forget what they're called. Like, I've seen them run Uranium on those, which is also cool. Ooh, Siren Tide. But yeah, no, they shouldn't. No, I, I, I would not like a mobile port of this. Like I said, the, we've had this game crash on us already. And they would have to rewrite code and everything else. It's just, no. Did you know a level 1 Rattata could be a level 100? Yes, with the Endeavor Focus Ass Quick Attack combo. Did you know that if you have a level 1... Pokemon with 30 and a Shell Bell that can learn Endeavor like Aeron. You can basically infinitely kill a team with just a level 1 Aeron if you have Sandstorm up. They need to fix the bugs and put it on mo Yeah! I wish they would fix the full screen bugs so we can actually have a full screen, you know, game of this. But, you know... The devs are working tirelessly on the end game as it is, so I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Like, they didn't make the game, they're just continuing to update it. Because the original creators got the cease and desist letter from Nintendo, and then they stopped production on it, and a new team picked it up that run the disc hold now. I'd like to see a fan get a hold of it, though, and put it on mobile. Well, that's cool, Jin. I do not, uh, play Roblox. I mean, I, the game looks cool, but it's a little out of my age demographic. Like, if I'm gonna play Roblox, I might as well just play Minecraft. 
Like, that's just... That's just me, personally. And this is why we gave Bariat Poison Jab. Like, Roblox is cool, though. I just... Bleh. I don't know. I, I've, I've heard things about Roblox that I don't like. I've heard things that I look cool and interesting. Well, it's funny because Roblox came out in like 2002. You know, I was six at the time. I'm surprised I never, you know, heard of the game. Probably a good thing I didn't back then. Poison moves are broken. The poison type in general is just broken in my opinion. It's a very, very good type. Like, I know poison types get a lot of flack for not being that good. I personally like poison types. Like, Dark Fairy and Poison are, are my three preferred types, and then Water's full from that list. I like Water types a lot. 30? Nice! So we can capture you. That's good. But yeah, no, I, I love a lot of Poison type Pokemon. Oh, no, yeah, no, Toxic's broken. Considering Toxic and Leech Seed in Gen 1 stack one another. It was, it was such a broken combination. So Toxic would stack with Leech Seed, and the more damage Leech Seed did, the more damage Toxic would do. What time is it for me? It's currently 7.19 p.m. for me. I'm assuming since you said you, you're up and getting ready for school soon, it's 7.19 a.m. for you. I think we've been over this before. Oh, double battle. Yeah, let's go with that. The mountain rumbles underfoot. Your trial is now. Did you hear it? The furious howling of the wind. 819 for you. Oh, you're an hour ahead. What is a nuclear ball? Tim, a nuclear ball is basically like a beast ball for Ultra Beast. On nuclear Pokemon, it has an increased capture rate. But on everything else, it's just a regular Pokeball. Ouch. Yeah, no, Nuclear Balls did what Beast Balls do before Beast Balls were a thing. We got them last stream before we took on the power plant. Basically, yeah, no, they're, they're basically useless, but they look cool. Unfortunately, you can't breed f for them. You can't pass them down as a breedable... Pokeball, which sucks. Oh, Lucha Bra, cool. You predicted me. Good job, guys. Bye, Dexter. But yeah, no, it's ba basically, at this point in the game, it's basically useless. And it saddens me. Flamethrower you. Bring Dexter back to life so you can gain some EXP. And I don't know, man. I have a shiny Alolan Ninetales with perfect IVs and a beast ball. But beast balls can't almost catch a... Beast Balls can catch a normal Pokemon. It's just extremely difficult to do. Trust me, I've done it. I caught a Ninetales. An Alolan Ninetales back in Gen 7. And I breed it for a shiny one in a Beast Ball. And he is prettily sitting up in my Scarlet game right now. So, yeah, no, you can capture them in a Beast Ball. It's just highly unlikely that you're going to. Ouch. But, yeah, no, um, let's see. That Ninetales, I probably spent a good uh, three and a half hours trying to catch an Alolan Vulpix so I could breed it. And it had to be a female one so it could pass the ball down easier. 
Like, uh, by the end, I was ready to rip my hair out. Like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I driving myself nuts for a ball? But that alone, Nine Tails won me a local tournament. And it has came in clutch with my competitive battling over the years. So I'm happy I did it. Despite the frustration it gave. Wow, it's just running into everything that Dexter can't battle. Cool. Can you use an Ultra Beast in Pokemon? Uh, yes, you can use all the Ultra Beasts in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I believe you... Can you use them in Skull and Violent? I'm not positive. I haven't touched the game in a long time, and I gotta get back to it to complete my living decks. Because they released all those new Paradox Pokemon and everything. See you later, Jin. Have a good day at school. Something Dexter can actually hit. But yeah, no, you you, you can use Ultra Beasts in Pokemon Soul. 100%. Why do you keep hitting Hurricanes? Thanks. Yes, I have a living Pokedex at home, yes. That's what I meant. I have a living Dex. It's a, it, I have every Pokemon from Charmander up until pre-DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Just kidding, two minutes. Oh, you got me again, Jen. Would you stop confusing me with Hurricane? Thank you. Seems like every time I use Hurricane, it misses. I just love that they use the image of, yeah. <laughs> it, it's such a, like, just overdone, overblown animation for Hurricane, and I love it. I don't love the fact that it's hitting as much as it is. I'm just glad that Dexter can tank special hits as well as he can. Because otherwise, he, he would have been dead. Hello, Boriat. I am going to switch right out. Into my own Boriat. Oh! I am so glad that missed. I don't know why you would have went for dynamic punch on a psychic type. I was expecting foul play. Don't, ah, oh, it landed dynamic punch. Oh no. Come on, Boriat, break through. Thank you. Nah, no, really, bye. <laughs> okay, Jin, see you later. How we, wow. You land a dynamic punch and we break through the confusion somehow. That's crazy. What are we going to get next? A bad drawing, a Charizard PNG? Eh, who knows? I have seen some bad Charizard PNG drawings, so. Wouldn't surprise me. But we're, get we're getting, as you can see by the levels of these Pokemon, my god. This is why I told you guys the end game of this game's level jump is bullshit. Like, my god. I've been trying to keep in tune. I was so over leveled in the beginning of this game, and now look at me. Oh, Chain Knight. Uh. You are faster than me. Cool. Oh, you're Drasma. I forgot you existed. It's true. Karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. That's right, Tim. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Karma is, uh, 
quite the bitch indeed. It's sitting there. It's waiting for you. It will come back and haunt you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Karma will find you. Yes, it did turn into an Eevee. That's one of Drasma's um, traits is that it comes out as other Pokemon. So when they made the animated sprite, they made it so that it can chain it, change into a couple Pokemon, which I find really cool. Oh yeah, might as well get some blood plus healing back. Not bad. Basically, yeah, it's basically more of Zorok than Ditto. It's basically Zora and Zorok. It's the Fakabon version of them in this game. Nice, we gained another level. Everyone's catching up nicely, at least. And slavery. No, no, the villagers in Minecraft are fine, I swear. Oh, this, this room's cool. With the lava pouring down and everything. Th this room is super cool. Ooh, that actually did more damage than I thought it would from a little bug like you. That's not gonna help us. Uh, running out of Pokeballs! This is fantastic. I hope we don't run into a shiny. Probably gonna put a repel on. Do I have a repel is the question, though. I don't want to run into a shiny without Pokeballs. Oh, dear God. Yes, I have two. You didn't see me because I was hidden by it. Because I was hiding. I love going behind big rocks. Okay, then. No, I'm talking about the Pokemon on, on the, the thing. Oh. Oh, yeah, that Pokemon being enslaved, yes. Yeah, no, it's basically being enslaved, yes. Chain Knight and Linkite, yes. It's kind of creepy when you think about it. Ooh, nice, we got the Omni Boost from Ancient Power. Oh, Dexter, you maniac. Thank you so much. And this is why you teach Ancient Power to things. Ah, we should tank that, fine. Wow, I wasn't expecting the 10% Omni boost. Do I want to risk? Yeah, we're gonna risk it. Is Yoshi... Is Yoshi a shiny? Yes, Yoshi is a shiny. Yoshi is our shiny that we've had throughout this entire game, and well... Oops, I didn't mean to switch Yoshi in! But, yeah, nope, there's Yoshi. Say hi to Yoshi. Yoshi's very shiny and green. And I, I, quite honestly, he's best looking out of the three starters to be. Hunt it for a shiny. Like, Metalinks becomes like this purplish, which doesn't really suit it, and Electruxo becomes black, which is cool, but not as cool as this, and that's what normal Achilles looks like, which, again, black and red is a cool color combination as well, but I'm really glad that I ended up shiny hunting for a shiny. It makes it cool. Black Yoshi, yeah, you know, canonically, yeah, there is a black Yoshi, isn't there? That is right. You are correct on that, at least. So, yeah, we have black and green Yoshis in this game. Uh, yeah, Dexter's dead. Bye, Dexter. I thought you could withstand that. I'm sorry.
Okay, Nucleon, do what you do best. Wait, does the Black Yoshi say the end won't? Maybe. No, uh, no judgment here if it does. <laughs> I mean, it might. If it's a Black Yoshi, maybe. Wonder what the Green Yoshi would say then. Wonder if the Green Yoshi's all about peace and love. And now I'm never going to be able to live it down. We have Black Yoshi and we have Green Yoshi. I'm never going to be able to remember all Achilles other than Yoshi. Oh, man. The Black Yoshi is just a gangster. Yeah, no, he's a real G. Black Yoshi is a real G in this game. And good God, I hate that I just sound like that. Oh my god, I haven't spoken like that in forever. <laughs> wow, you guys just seen the, uh, the ghetto nest of me, myself, and I. Nothing we can do here. Oh man, I forgot how annoying Victory Road can be. Yay! Strength puzzles! Everyone's favorite! Said no one ever. I do not like strength puzzles. It's one of my pet peeves of Pokemon. For that reason right there. Man. Like, and it's my, it's my own stupidity for not being good at strength puzzles, but still. Like, it's not all. And again, I love the lava. This is such a cool victory road. They did an amazing job on the tile set in this game. And I will forever... Like, just gush. Oh, we find TM35 Flamethrower. Uh, quite appropriate to find it here. A little late to be finding it here. Ooh, Def Imp. Yeah, no, see, this thing's cool. And I wish we got it earlier. But, it's level 30 when you get it. And it doesn't evolve into 75. And it's such a grind to get it that it's not even worth using right now. And it's sad because this final evolution's a cool fire dog type. And you can't use it. Unless you really, really grind it for it. Like, and at that point, even me picking up she bit when I did was just not intuitive for me to do. When I played this game for the first time, picking up a pseudo legendary and having to catch it up with everything else, just nope. And since we ran out of repels, I should have properly prepared more. Eh, maybe we'll find a shiny. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Even I don't know at this point. Ooh, Kamikonda. I don't like the fact that you change Gendro's in T Tico's battle. For now, I think we should just get out of Victory Road. We can do a lot more exploring later. When we have repels. Oh, there we go. There's a repel. Cool. Thanks, game. Black Yoshi, the mother of... Ha! <laughs> Wow, Tim, that, that's, uh, that's crazy. I, I guess so. I guess Black Yoshi's just a gangster. Oh, man. 
No, it's a reference to a video. Oh? I've never seen... I've never seen the video then. Or maybe I have and I just don't remember it. That's probably most of the case. I probably have seen the video that you're referencing and I just don't remember it. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Almost out of Victory Road. This is quite a long Victory Road. Like, it, it, it's a very, very, very long Victory Road. Hmm. I don't like the fact that we ran out of repels. Get me out of here. Hello, welcome to the stream. We are currently in Victory Road in Pokemon Uranium and uh, kind of stuck without repels. Imagine a black Yoshi in this game. Ha oh God. Pale, Pale World meets um, Pokemon Uranium. Ooh, Dragon Pulse. That would be cool. We would win the championship, no problem. Hold them at gunpoint. Like, give me my... Give me my championship. It's mine. Where is... Dragon Pulse. Oh, I don't know who can learn it. I passed it twice like a dumbass. No one can learn it. Awesome. I don't know why Yoshi can't learn Dragon Balls. And the Golden Necklace and Red Shoes. Ooh, TM90 Substitute is nice. And again, this area. It's just... Victory Road's just cool in this game. The music, the atmosphere. It's just, it's cool. They did such a great job on Victory Road here. But we have made it to the championship site. Man, is this place just freaking cool? Like, you can walk around the stadium and everything. Like, this is just cool. I love the fact that you can just walk around. But, more importantly, we finally made it. We made it to the championship. And you can buy all the Pokeballs you need here. And this is where you can finally pick up Quick Balls. Which would have been nice, I don't know, 20 hours ago? Uh, pick up, like, 20 of you. Up like seven. We, wow, we are broke. Good God, we don't have anything to sell either. No. Oh, no, we have a nugget. Ah, uh, anything else? Not that I'm seeing right off the bat. I mean, the binding bat's kind of useless. So it gets robbed by a black. Oh God! I'd be more terrified that a giant black creature is attacking me. You think you're gonna win the championship this year? Oh well, yeah. That's kind of why we're here. Okay, it is very, very important that from this point forward, you make sure you have all the items you want. You make sure you have all the levels that you want, because once you enter, you're not leaving. Now, if you have a Nucleon like I do, it would be a good idea to throw this bad boy up front. Search up an image of Black Yoshi. Okay. I'm slightly curious of why you want me to do that, Tim. But, sure. Oh, no, it just comes up as normal Yoshi. Oh, nope, I see a gangster one. Oh, nope, there's a lot of gangster Yoshis. Oh my good god. Oh 
Good God, I gotta... I gotta save this really quick and show everyone. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Um... Okay, everyone! Tim told me to search up Black Yoshi. Uh, this is what I find. That is the first image that popped up when I searched it. Internet's a wild place, man. Holy crap, the internet's a wild place. I know, right? Like, that's the first image that I found. <laughs> Did I just come back? I crowned just. Okay, so Tim told me to look up Black Yoshi on Google and uh, This is what This is the first image that pops up when you search up Black Yoshi in Google search Is a gangster Yoshi what is that holding a gun it looks like <laughs> Good god, <laughs> it's a walk of beauty I know, right? <laughs> oh, Tim. <laughs> I need a fat laugh. Thanks, Tim. That's great. Okay, anyways. To get on to the championship now that we've seen Gangsto Yoshi. Slap Nucleon up front. You're not going to be disappointed. Slap a Choice Golf on it if you feel like it. I think we should be fine. I think between the levels, moveset, and the type variety, we should be fine. That is a gun held side. Oh, it is a gun held sideways. That that's great. I would also recommend saving at this point. Anywho, guys, it's been ten pots that we've been waiting to get up to this point. Time to go into the championship. Oh, hey, it's our dad and the professor. What's up, guys? You didn't think I was gonna miss your league challenge, did you? Well, that's cool. That's awesome that they came here. I have not seen Theo, Professor. 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 Jesus Christ, my lisp. Theo and Cameron left the Ranger HQ some time ago, too. I thought they'd be here, but I guess not. After all, they're both still recovering from the battle against Kiri. This is true. Save the MNs and set it up as you wallpaper on your computer. <laughs> sure. You thought you were going to channel this league without me? Absolutely not, Theo. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Alright, cool. Theo's back to his old self. This is great. Yep. We are all set to go. And you can do some preparations to your team here, too, with items before you go in, which is nice. Oh, and this is a knockout elimination tournament. And this was done before Sword and Shield did it. Oh, and by the way, this, um, this champion's site is set over a volcano. Just to let you know. So we're inside of a volcano right now. Which this, this, when I first got here in this game, I was just blown away by this. Not to mention the music that's about to pop up. No items may be used in battle, only what Pokemon are holding. Yep. Listen to this Elite Full Battle music really quick. Cause it's, it, it pops. Doesn't this music for this Elite Fold just pop? 
pop. It reminds me so much of black and white. And holy crap, I didn't think you would be level 70. Good God. Okay, yeah, you're gonna wanna be like level 65 then. Oops. I didn't think the, I remembered the champion very, very wrong then for the championship. But you know, this music reminds me so, so much of black and white's elite full theme. It's amazing. Imagine Eevee fur color was black. That would be a cool shiny. Yeah, no, this, this, this game is just like perfect in almost every way possible. Yep, nope. No, come on, Hawk Terra. Good job. Eat a gunk shot. God damn it, we missed. Why do you hit Hurricane? Why did you hit? I need a gangster Eevee. Why did you have to hit a hurricane? Good God. I missed my gunk shot, but you hit your hurricane. One of my all-time favorite tracks. Oh, absolutely, Crown Jester. This track just pops so much. The music in this game is just crazy. And it, it, it fits the tense atmosphere of it. And Yoshi's dead. Maybe. Maybe not. Don't hit again. Don't hit again. Don't kill Yoshi. Oh, take I think we're a wee bit underleveled. What do you guys think? A little bit, right? But just, just, uh, just a wee bit underleveled for this. Good God. Uh, at least it gives it some challenge. I, I did kind of take carry. Hype carry up to be the super strong trainer and kind of nuked it with Nucleon. So. It, it, it's appropriate. Ooh, the wind's picking up. That's fun. So I guess it's appropriate that this gives us a run for its money. If we end up losing here, we're going to have to go train. I hope not. Miss. Awesome. Oh, this is going to be tense. Welcome to the stream. We're currently in the Elite Four Pokemon Uranium. And we've had a sweaty battle. First battle already. My God, dude. That, that was a close one. Round two. Oh, God. Yeah, and you don't automatic. Oh, you do automatically heal. That's nice. Okay. That's nice. Yes, we are ready for the next round. Alright, round two. No jokes. Oh, you use fairy types. That's cool. Mm hmm. Yep. You got it. Nymphora. Hopefully we can out... I, I'm assuming we're going to be able to outspeed. No. Huh. Wow. I thought we would have outspeed that. What are you even doing to use... Me? You see, Tim. It's going to be a special thing for the end game. Because I got to level you up, give you a good move set, give you good IBs. You see. It's gonna be a fun surprise. That's uh, final gambit. That doesn't help you win a tanger. Okay, that that didn't help you too much. Oh good, Sylveon, eat this gunk shot. 
Would you hit a gunk shot? Hop Terra! My god! Thank you! I mean, you're dead anyways, but... My god! But yeah, no, Tim. I have something planned for the after game that I think you're gonna like, and Flareon's gonna be part of that. There's a couple things to do in the after game. Was that a PNG of a moon? That was a PNG of a moon. Ooh! Wow, that did a lot of damage. Cool, we're getting absolutely destroyed. This is awesome. We can't use items in battle. Oh, God. Why are they using images? Because that's what most of these sprites are in this game is the PNG images. That's how the game renders stuff. Like this surfing animation that's just a PNG. If you look into the game's files, that's basically what it is. And again, it was made in 2016, so it makes sense that they cut corners when they could. The game still looks fantastic for the time period, and even now, almost 10 years later, it looks great. Okay, Nymphloa, you, um... No need, no need to do that. My god. We didn't even get the Omni boost. Cool. Wow. Dexter, you mad lad! Dexter, you are a defensive mad lad, I tell you what. Living with one HP like that. Hmm. So we have something that's quad weak to fairy. And just died. Rip. I'm getting fucking wrecked. Cool. I don't think we're appropriately leveled for this. Oh no. Rip. Rip indeed, Tim. I don't think Yoshi's even gonna live a week in down Hydro Pub. Nope. Oh, cool. It's not gonna save us. Oh, are we gonna get lucky? Oh. If we can outspeed Nymphloa, we win. If we can not get out of one hit, we win. Come on, come on, Yoshi. Yoshi, you bad man. Yoshi, you are mad lad. I don't believe that just happened. Holy crap. Did, did we really just skin through that with the skin of our teeth? Oh, hi, Maria. Yo, we're fighting the first gym leader. Cool. Hopefully, Bariat has an easy time here. My god. You would start with a flying type. You, you are rude, Maria. You are very, very rude. But Yoshi, you mad dinosaur that you are. Did you play Undertale? I have not played Undertale, Tim. I think I went over this either last stream or the stream before that. That when Undertale was released and came out, the fan base was so toxic 
to anyone that didn't think Undertale was this perfect game, that I ended up not playing the game and kind of hating it because of that solely, because I didn't find Undertale, it didn't look interesting to me. And I got ruthlessly attacked online for stating that opinion that I didn't think the game was good. And I've not gone back and played it, or tried it even. So, no, I've not played Undertale for that reason. It, it's kind of a dumb reason, but at the same time, it's a lot like, like I've tried Breath of the Wild, the Zelda game for the Switch. I've tried Breath of the Wild. Tried it many times, couldn't get into it. You no know, went online, talked about it with some people, got ruthlessly attacked for it, made me hate the game even more. It's like, I, I don't like when people are like, well, this is a holy grail of a video game and you can't have a different opinion than us. And it's like, well, video games aren't made for everyone. Like, I'm playing this one right now. It's not everyone's favorite. I'm sure some people don't like Pokemon Uranium, which is fine. Not everyone has to like Pokemon Uranium. You know? Not everyone has to like Zelda. Not everyone has to like Undertale, Metroid. Everyone has different game preferences. So that that that's why I don't like Undertale. It, it, it's kind of a silly reason, but it's my reason. Uh, get Zeta some action. Oh god, I need some water. I hurt my throat yelling at because of Yoshi. Uh, I might be able to outspeed. I can outspeed. Cool. Gamma, you mad lad. And Lumpy Touch made a Undertale fan game mixing Garfield and Sans together, and the character name is Sansfield. Ha <laughs> ha That's funny. That that's actually kind of funny. Go, Nucleon! Nuke everything! Be longer. Oh, we do outspeed anyway, so it doesn't matter. I was hoping that it didn't pick sleep talk. Don't pick an- You pick slack off. Wow, that- that- that's a pretty crappy sleep talk move you just got, Maria. If you don't believe me, search up- Oh, I believe you, Tim. I'll search up the emits probably later. Ooh, carry cone. Since I'm gonna die it. Oh, you got a mega. Oh, God. See, that's mega carry cone, and it looks cool. Not bad, half damage. It's such a cool Pokemon. And I'm sad I didn't end up wanting to use it. Because it is such a cool Mega and everything, but I already had two Megas picked out. And well, Yoshi's a mad lad, so... Yoshi will forever be the Mega we choose most of the time. You have... I did not know you could learn Earthquake. Nope, I think we've just lost. Uh, oh, okay. If we don't hit this... You have... Oh, my God. Yep, nope, we lose. Wow. Yep, nope. Absolutely fucking wrecked. Oh, man. God damn it. Well, I know what I'm going to go get then. I can't believe it. After that victory Yoshi pulled off, we lose anyways. God damn it. Well, I know something that can fix that.
Uh, let's see. Give me that. Oh, uh, I don't have enough money for it. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Give me one. Are you going to search up the image? What is this, Sandsfield? Yeah, I can search that up really quick, Tim. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, so they did combine it. That's pretty neat. I still don't know anything about Undertale, so I really don't know what I'm looking at, Tim. But I can't believe it. We just lost. I cannot believe it. We just got absolutely pwned. That's okay. We just bought insurance. Oh, Garfield is known for loving lasagna. Yeah. Uh, EXP... Where is... Ah, there you are. And since we're here, we might as well train just a little bit, get one more level on Nucleon. I, I can't believe it, we just lost. That's funny. Hello, ninjas! No, well, we're gonna do a training battle because I can't believe it, we just got wrecked. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're playing Pokemon Uranium. We just got absolutely destroyed by the Elite Four. Because I wasn't expecting them to be that high of a level. I remember them being a lot lower level. I'm also hiding from Garfield, aka. And oh, that's probably a good thing. Garfield might think you're lasagna and eat you. Get some nice IVs before we continue. We will do a hard grind if we have to. Like, uh, if I lose again, I will do a hard grind and we'll do the championship next time. But I'm pretty sure with the choice golf, we should be okay. I, I don't think I was level 70 when I played the first time. Did that bump Nucleon up at all? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now, let's go back to the champion site and see if we can actually do something. Hopefully not get up pwned. I can't believe it, we lost. Pounce, go, and field. Oh, God. Alright. Hello, my good sir. I did not lose, I swear. This is my first time coming here. Yes, and every time you lose, it does change who you battle. So, that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice how they did that, that they kind of change it up. So you're not getting, like, completely brick-walled. I feel like I had an ass catch a moment. I pull out a win with Yoshi nearly dead and then I get boned. Because of bullshit. Okay. Let's do this again. And let's do this the correct way this time. By nuking everything in our path.
There's not a single thing with a choice cough that should be able to outspeed you, and there's not a damn thing in this tournament that should live Nucleon type of voice. Oh, so I was just playing the game hard. Okay. Who, who would have thought? So I, I, I was just playing the game on hard mode by not giving Nucleon the one thing it needed. Oh, you survived. That That's cool. That's cool, Sylveon. That doesn't help you. <laughs> Good day, Sylvia. <laughs> well, who just thought the choice cough would have been the one thing we were missing? Oh, man. Oh, the embarrassment I just faced. But, well, that's how fan games go. You win some, you lose some. New Clan's gonna be way over level two. Round two. Oh, it's him again. So they just do who you're gonna face in a different order. So we gotta face Maria then. And again, the music before the Elite Four too. The champion site's pretty nice too. I think this is from the anime. I'm not positive on that though. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Okay, Nucleon, do what you do best. This is probably not the best content, but oh well. Bullets won't walk on me. Nothing will kill Nucleon. Nucleon is indestructible. Yeah, see, and this is kind of why I didn't want to use Nucleon. But I kind of felt like I had to just for the simple fact that it's Pokemon Uranium. And they gave me a new Evolution to play with. And I couldn't say no to that. Do you remember who Garfield's owner is? Uh... John, isn't it? Is it John? Is that his name? I think that's his name. Pretty sure it's John, right? Yeah, I haven't seen Goff. Yes, okay. I haven't seen Goffield in so long. Up next is Maria, I'm assuming. No. Really? Ah, so we just got very unlucky and ran into Marie. Oh, nope, we got Sheldon. Oh, no. That, um, that could be a problem. We're not just going to nuke right through this, it seems. Oh, that, that, that's a problem. Cool. So you give us a steel type gym leader. Awesome! We're not nuking shit right now! Goff, Goffield, John, I request lasagna. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen Goffield in forever. Uh, bye! Hopefully you don't have Brett break. Otherwise, we're gonna get boned again. That, that, that's the one thing I do like, though, about this game, is how hard it actually can be. It, it, it does, it, this game does not pull punches. One bit. And I like that. Remember the Garfield? I do not remember the Garfield phone. I didn't know Garfield had a phone. Oh, that they had a phone after Garfield. I don't remember that. Well, maybe I do, and I'm just not thinking hard enough. 
tracked in. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna mega. Might as well. What? How the hell did you outspeed? I call bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Yeah, we're gonna have to level it seems. My god. <laughs> no way. No way you've hit that many dragon rushes in a row. No fucking way. Is this happening? <laughs> this is great. Yeah, we lose again, guys, but this time we lose to Sheldon. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! Yep, yeah, no, we're just too under level for this. Okay, well, that fucking sucks. That is straight up bullshit. To the highest degree possible. Okay. That, that really fucking sucks. Well, I, I, I think we're gonna call that a stream because I just got absolutely annihilated twice in this game. And I'm gonna have to level everyone up to 70, which means, let's see, I have to go 10, 20, 18, like 50 levels between the six. So, I'm gonna call that a stream again. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me completely spaz out and watching this game completely destroy me. I've been Umber and Moonlight. I hope you all have a good day. I'm probably going to stream the championship at some point tomorrow, if not tomorrow or Tuesday. Because th there's no way I'm going to make you sit through three hours of grinding. Anyways, I'll be in the Discord server if you guys want to chat for a little bit at least when I grind. I'm signing out for now. I hope you all have a good day. See you all in the next stream. Hopefully we don't get wrecked then.